Hey YouTube, this is Hypnotic Chaos here, and welcome back to another video with the another vampire again, and today we're going to do part two, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Okay. Um... Or do I have delay? Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! And, uh, turn it down. Ah, uh, let you bleed. Be a player. Well, so, you know, um, he just stabbed that one, so. I don't know if I can kill you. Uh, Insult me again and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spinning out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. I have blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. You personally to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from other your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen of the strings. Be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting the hands of one critic friends again. Um, well, like I said uh, on the first video, uh, with everything I do will affect uh, the game, so uh, I'm not good. Just you take bad, a bite. You bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Into the Hamburg hospital. I first uh turn the common handle for you. Gone. Okay, now we can go over here. Alright. Doctor, 
Where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Alright guys, uh, I'm sorry that uh, my voice was echoing, it's because I was recording it in OBS and in Audacity, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's because I haven't used Audacity in a while. I would like to ask a few questions first. I don't know, y'all will probably not hear the echo because I'm gonna probably edit out the voice audio and audacity because uh, if I don't, like, I think the whole video will be like messed up. Uh, this what kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Why does she have blood all over her hands? And on her shirt. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The whole thing was in quite a state of shock. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Due to the influenza, this hospital can no longer take any patient hospital for physical back home. Uh, well, I'm not gonna go back home. Uh, uh, Find your office on the second floor. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Well, that did good. Um... Are 
you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by hey, gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Uh, local investigation. A new citizen investigation is available in place to open the local investigation window. Um, you can start a new citizen quest by tracking them with the X, then access to the map to locate the area to explore. I, uh... Oh, I... Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Damn. Ah. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Money for that. Maybe they'll mend that in the garden. I've got a new one. I don't know. I'm gonna go there first. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. A giant moon of disguise as a hospital. That's a criminal nowadays. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Oh, you shit. Alright, um... Alright, uh, here's the one. I'm gonna, uh, gather information of some of the, uh, patients in the, uh, hospital. And, yeah, uh, well, I will see what I can do, um, after I do that, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't think she's there. And then, but I think she's just saying that. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. 
It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Yeah, I think she's fucking crazy. And she thinks that I ever heard of Carter Syndrome. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotta syndrome? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotta. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Yeah, I think you the little no. Uh yeah. Please describe to me how you feel. What is uh, it like uh, to be a vampire? I can hear it seems like that we're very sick. Flesh cracks and fades. And I need some help. Posture and blood within my drying veins. Uh, I need new blood. So I think I should be hallucinating, I think. It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whatever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Yeah. She's the fucking hallucinating. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Tell me shit. I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the mock. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I uh, am a vampire. I yes, see. I am. <laughs> Don't worry. These people will not I'll find you. Find you kill them. I'll personally. Thank you, mortal, but do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Oh, yeah. I like to see the powers. I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you? You need mortal. What do you require? Oh, okay. Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were. Well, I don't know that all I'm gonna get out of here for now. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal. Small bottle. Um, I had to go upstairs. Oh, wait. Um, I have to go outside. Okay. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? 
We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. You are going to change your tone with me, my dear colleague, and very quickly. I don't think so. Perhaps you think yourself protected by Dr. Swansea, but I am still a free man, and I will speak to you the way I want. Um, there you are. Um, personal. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. What the fuck? I don't know. a PTSD from the military. Yeah, I guess that's the why. I Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Oh, is there a No. Damn it. I... Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Is that guy okay? Uh, nope. Ah, no. Ah, oh, the son of a bitch. No. Why? I'm dead. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that at all. I should be more aware of my surroundings then. I'm sorry about the light over here. It's the uh, Xbox. I'm not I'm like it. I as well turn it off. But I'm not using that at the moment. Well, time to go back there right? and, um, and I kill them.
I, I just don't know what to say, but anyways. Alright. Uh, uh, this weapon is uh, Fucking crazy. Alright, I put it up in the wall there. Alright, I put it up in. I was smiling and loving a couple with a few words written on the back. Not in the room. People uh, forever. I said that to the wife, I'm guessing. Alright, uh. Let I keep on doing this. Wait, what happened to it? Oh, okay, okay. I did not mean to do that. Wait, where's Milton at? Oh, there, there, what? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives? I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Doctor Reed. Alright, thank you. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. Hey, but She's as depressed as I am. I'm down. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? Hello. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing.
by, Milton. Well, right, now we can, uh, I'm getting it. We just found a new hideout. Here you can spend the XP while resting or collecting items at the workbench. Uh, this must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. I didn't know you could relegated to the shadows. Collect items. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here are the ranges, uh, 
Well, I can upgrade this, but oh yeah, I forgot I can't do it right now. Let's get this. Uh, uh, 500 points. Oh shit, uh, I'm low uh, about it. 20 out here. Uh, I said that is the same price. Yeah. Well, that that looks good now. I, I didn't even see this. Spring you can you perform a supernatural move to a target and cause damage and behind the land. And, oh my gosh! I should have got that. But, uh, I guess I'll get it next time. I'm doing a stamina fade in to the shadows and the color. There's a board to most enemies moving in this state while doing more stamina. You will exit the shadow if you uh, attack or dodge or. One is them that is MJ. Kind of fun. I left by one night. Although my health status went down to health. Oh, I think I would order that health. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't get that on to the orange. I don't need to analyze his blood. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh, let's analyze it right now. Well, uh... On a workbench, you can have medical treatment, health, sick citizens, serum to boost yourself, weapon upgrade to improve and customize your weapon. That sounds awesome. You first need to analyze the components you found. Get not new recipes and click on. Yeah, to analyze components. Okay. Mm, damn. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Alright, now I'm guessing that, um, when I was doing something that happened to the blood, but I remember it. Well, there was a, a scratch right here. Um, yes. Why are you doing your own blood to heal? Normal and aggravated and damaged. Uh, 
something down. Mm, damn. Well, I can, uh, I have enough, uh, XP now, but I don't know if I should, um, spend it right away or save it. Um, I'm on. No, 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 no. And then. I'm gonna save it because I ought to spend it on um a more if I'm to stay here health. until my research is complete. I I'd better like learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. Maybe thirst for blood. I'm coming. Come on, I don't have all night. I'm here, oh my gosh. I'm right in front of you. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Uh, uh... Type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However, do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Damn. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned mall behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Uh, oh shit. Do they know that I'm a vampire since they sent that my eyes are like red? Alright, so now we have to go down to the and go to the uh, storage place. Um, uh, I have one there. Then I got the new like, ability to do it. There, car. Alright, I only want to use it really bad. Um, but. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to let it find out how to do that. Yeah, when I get in the combat. Wait, right, so I'm guessing I'll have to use my vampire ability. Alright, so everything. Well, well, there's a downstairs area, but I need a key for that place. I'm gonna need to look for that key. I'm gonna search down here first. What the fuck was that noise? 
Oh shit. Alright, well. Alright, here's the one. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Myself for dying. Damn. Oh shit. I'm not doing that thing again. Well, at least I don't know what's at, so it shouldn't be that hard. Well, I don't want to do it now. There we go. Mother There we go. I need to hold up. You want to freaking dime. I know why I keep wanting to freaking dime it freaking because I can't turn the camera around fast enough, but I know Microsoft is uh, releasing the uh, adaptive controller I think it's what it's called. Then yeah, I'm looking at for disabled people though. Okay, um I'm scared. <laughs> um but yeah I think it comes out in September I think. Yeah. I think, but it sucks that it's a hundred dollars. Uh, I think that's a little too pricey. I think it should be at least eighty or seventy-five dollars. But. Well, it's not even out yet, so I can't really complain. Alright, so where is the thing? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna open this door. Son of a bitch. I hope I do not die. Wait, I know what to do. I know what to do. Um. I'm trying. Uh. Hopefully that will change the sensitivity. Even though it does it for the mouse. I guess I'm gonna have to These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. Do this. They're not after blood. Kind of Oh, you dodge, I am. 
Yeah, we'll take him around. that I knew the time the stunner for me to be able to do them so wait does this lead outside I regret it doesn't but I know I need to go over here to find the uh, item that I need mother All right, motherfucker. All right, come on. All right, I get an icon. You're good. All right, you're good. Come on, bitch. Oh, God, there's more. Wow, uh, ah. I didn't stay back. Right now. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that I did that. Alright, it's one. Ah! Oh, I know. I think I know how to beat him now without freaking dying. Oh my gosh. Alright, come on. And then we freaking go. <laughs> I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. To drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Oh, well, they're up there and go upstairs now. I, I thought. I only thought I was going to die at first, but since I drained his blood, uh. I could, uh, I'll read you in there if I needed to. Alright, now, I need to go back up. Alright. Another one of you. I was able to beat the boss, but I wasn't able to kill a freaking enemy. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking... Alright. Damn it, I wish there was a way to change my freaking sensitivity for them. Controller. 
I hope well they would probably do uh if we all know how to uh please comment uh, how to do that uh down below in the comments because um well I'm gonna die a lot since it's uh, kind of low. They shouldn't let it put here controller sensitivity. That would have been a lot of fucking better. Well, I could uh, probably try to play without a controller, but it would be very hard for me because I'm gonna have to let it. Uh, bring this chair all the way up, like, raise it all the way up, and then I'm, I would have to like, use my foot for the mouse, then my hand for the keyboard. Um, I went in a freaking circle. Uh, there you are, um, mother, oh, there we go. I don't want to die from that. That's a freaking boy, are you kidding me? No. Well, I, I could have killed them for the uh, XP. Oh, uh, well, I see why they're killing me in that area. It's been on level two. It's done. Uh. Mother! I couldn't even move at all. I'm not. Um. Alright. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna freaking do it. They freaking trap me in the freaking corner. I'm getting the fuck out of there. And, and uh, comment down below and uh, tell me if the audio is better. Be. I had to uh, put a sock on. On my microphone, but I noticed that it was like, uh, I don't know if you would call it like an echo, but, um, I don't know. Well, it, it's kind of like an echo, but, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't echo no more. Uh, do I have to go to my room? Oh my gosh. It probably doesn't do that much damage. But I could probably sell it if I can sell stuff.
Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, I yes, did. Yes. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed present. The quality of a citizen is the correct medicine to help them speak to the patient in the room behind do it to the technical medical status. I love this thing. That doesn't tell me anything about him. He's the walking door, the fucking door. Alright, <laughs> bad temptation. Remember, a citizen that will provide you a massive experience. Look for citizens of your mesmerized level or below and choose. Why is it? I know this is the why is it? Um, I'm gonna go upstairs there. I saw them upstairs earlier when I was sensing. And I can't open that door. Uh, wait, wait. I don't know. Right, I can open that door. Please, Jonathan, come in. Damn it, my eye. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Yeah. Uh. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out, 
A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? Why, the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. I heard that my hair is freaking long. Uh, tomorrow I'm, I'm gonna get a haircut. Alright, wait, wait. Oh, that one is long. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Well, so she is a vampire. I thought she was fucking crazy. Well, she might be a vampire. I she was in here. Grasseville. Uh, I want like a freaking circle. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Have any of the patients given you trouble? 
These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Oh, yeah. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Oh, yeah. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? We both are afflicted with a thirst for blood, Lady Ashbury. That is our nature. By vocation, we also have reason to visit the hospital. Logic dictates. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. Oh, when this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Yeah, I have to be really fucking careful. I have to choose it very carefully. Whatever uh, the job that I tell people. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm. Madam, I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? And there was under Reed and say that. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. 
this isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts slit a poor sod's vein. Yeah. Um. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Well. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. I bet they have to deal with a lot of shit every day. Uh, I should ask. Uh, uh, what can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Oh, what's so. up? Uh, I never see it. Might be the one that uh, black him. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Damn. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. What can you tell me about the strange man? visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. I... I didn't look in... one of them. Oh. Can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. Oh, yeah. She's full of Shut up. tales. <laughs> Goodbye. I can just, I can just uh, pass and be. Look exhausted. You're pushing it. 
Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know. Blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Damn. I know I should be really careful. Uh, then. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Uh, I think we should hide him something. familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tiffins. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Alright, I'm going to go find a nurse in Dorothy. Well, why is she like way over here? Well, he was not passing. I love certain activators and if a citizen is very suspicious, is it horrible? And then this note will by looking at the citizen who are not as special enough to look for Dorothy. Alright. Shit. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Alright, here we go. I think we should update some more that guy is. Keep on pressing the wrong button. This video is longer than I expected it to be. Wait, what time is it? I, I, I don't know. 
Man, I got the time right now. Oh my gosh. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Blood. Oh, that should have stunned him. There we go. Oh my gosh. That the guy. I've been the band of the dragon. I know that they're collectible. I mean, right there, there, there. Light generation. See him. There's another boss. What sort of creature is this? Oh my gosh! I didn't even end the hit. Well, I didn't even end the attack at all. No. No, that must be like a. Well, that looks like a werewolf, but. Oh my gosh, 
two heads and I'm at twenty five percent health. Yeah. 
finally, oh my gosh. And that literally took me about two hours to freaking do. I am so freaking happy. It's freaking three in the morning now. Oh my gosh. Here's what's left of him. I am so happy that it's freaking over me. now. Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna freaking lose that. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Craig? Well, I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh my out. gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I worked my fucking ass off. Uh, it's been uh, four hours, I think, or three hours. And so I have a lot to freaking edit. And later today, um, there's a state of the kids video coming out, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are done, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below. And subscribe if you're not in the head there. Bell notification to go listen to my new videos I upload. And follow me on Twitter and uh, Facebook. Uh, but I tell y'all when I'm about to upload a video and when I'm about to live stream on Twitch. Or uh, which I don't know when I'm gonna live stream, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see y'all guys in the next video. Bye.